Okay, we're going to tie the Muda Puda. It's a fly that's typically tied in size 10 or 12. Um, I'm going to tie it in a size 16. Uh, I like to tie just a little bit smaller. I like to fish spring creeks, smaller creeks with it. Um, it's a good fly to put a dropper off of. In the vise I have a Daiichi 1160. Again, it's size 16. I'm going to use some Viva's thread. This is 12 odd. And I'm going to start the thread at a point on the shank that's just forward of the point. And we're going to lay a base of thread then down the shank. And we'll come back up to the starting point. Okay, where's there? Here we go. Here's our tag in. Okay, for the ribbing on the fly, we're going to be using some crystal flash. We'll tie it in. And we'll tie it underneath the shank of the hook. We'll counter wrap this when it comes time to use it. And we'll bring our thread back to about the midpoint of the thread. Fly will have a hot spot, so I'm going to use some Spectre Flash dubbing. I'm going to use some orange, and this is just about the same as ice dubbing. Very similar. Okay, we'll get it wet. Don't need a whole lot. And we'll secure it then to the shank. little ball. And again we'll bring our thread up to about the midpoint. And for the body of the fly, since I'm going to imitate a beetle, um, we'll use some UV dubbing. This is in black. When you tie this pattern or this design, um, it can represent a number of things. I'm tying it to represent a beetle or a cicada. Um, you might tie it to represent a, a caddis. Um, it could be a hopper. Um, you might even tie a purple or some other kind of foam to give it a, um, an attractor look. Um, you can use various colored dubbings for the body. For the hot spot, you can use different colored um, dubbings. I like chartreuse. Okay, we'll go ahead and bring this then on down over the hot spot. And the hot spot doesn't have to be too big. Okay, then we'll bring our dubbing forward. Okay, we could use just a little bit more. We want just a slight build up in the front here so our deer hair will stand up just a little bit more. And the deer hair that we use will be the underwing. Okay. You know, bring our ribbing forward, and if we can, we can get four or five good wraps. Okay, we'll pull our thread back to the bundle, to the dubbing. So we brought our thread to the ribbing, not our ribbing down to the thread. Okay, we can cut that off. Okay, we have our thread right in front of our dubbing. So we're going to tie in our underwing, and our underwing is going to be made of, of a um, deer hair, elk hair. We're going to take about a three quarters of a pencil, cut it out. Pull out some of the smaller, shorter hairs, and we'll pull out the under fur, and then we'll stack it.
Okay, we got a couple long ones that didn't didn't stack right. Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to clip off some of these longer butt ends. We really don't need those. Okay, I'm going to take my wing and I'm going to just a little bit longer than the body. Okay, we'll make two soft wraps. And then I'm going to make a pinch wrap. Try to secure this on top of the shank. I'm going to pull up about a third or about a third of the bundle. Pull it back. Wrap it in place. This will help secure my wings. Okay, then I can clip off the excess. Okay, and I can lash my wings down place. Okay, I'm going to end up with my thread then right at the base of the wings. Okay, for the over wing, or the foam wing, I'm going to be using some quarter inch, or excuse me, one millimeter foam. And I've run my bodkin through it at about a quarter of an inch. Um, from the end, I take that off, and my foam is about from the shank to the point in width. We'll put a little super glue on our thread. And then we'll pull our foam over. Okay, I'm going to turn my fly upside down the vise. Pull that foam back. And I'm going to lash it in place. Okay, we'll turn the vise over. And we'll pull back again and we'll lash it again. Tight in place again. This time we'll form a head. Okay, I'm going to clip this off just a little bit long so I can get it out of the way. Okay. Okay, now we're ready to put on our legs. And for legs, we're going to be using some barred semi-floss copper, and this is a size medium. Got one on each side. Okay. Lash it in place. So we can see this fly in the water, I'm going to put in a, an indicator or a post that is visible. We're going to be using some pair of posts in orange, fluorescent orange. Okay, we'll cut it off even. And we can tie it in. You'll make sure it's on top in the middle. One more wrap to hold it in place. <laughs> and we can whip finish. Okay, I'm going to cut off this indicator, cut it to length. Okay, I'm going to turn the fly over and I'm going to clip off this tab that we have under here. I'm going to clip this off so I have a little bit more clearance here in the gap. Okay, the front legs, cut those to size. And here again, that's a personal preference. And we cut the back legs a little bit longer than the front.
Okay. Okay, now we're ready to pull this out of the vise. And I'm going to cut off this over wing or the outer wing, the foam, just a little bit longer than the hackles, the deer hackles. Okay, then we're going to cut a little bit of a, a V in here. To give it a winged look. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Back in the vise. And we're going to put some head cement to hold these legs in place. Okay, and there we have the Muda Puda. <laughs>